I recently got back from an alternative break to Tucson, Arizona with 11 wonderful students to learn about injustices taking place at our country's shared border with Mexico. It profoundly impacted our minds and our hearts as we learned about and witnessed some very mind-boggling and unrighteous immigration practices. One night, I was reflecting and having a conversation with one of our students as we both tried to process our experience. Another student kindly interrupted us and it was evident that she was troubled by what she was about to say. She asked both of us, how is it that you guys are so strong in your faith when there are evil things happening like what we saw today? I think many of us might be asking the same question as we try to wrap our minds around our world's reality. I don't know that I've ever Googled basic symptoms as much as I have until this point. And I don't think my husband has taken much interest in watching the news until the last few days. I don't think people have ever been so frantic about stocking up on toilet paper until now. The truth of the matter is, is that many of us feel like the world is in a state of chaos and panic. And where is God in all of this? So I tried to collect my thoughts quickly so I could give a response to this monumental question. Then I said, I have a deep faith and understanding that my God is a good God, a God who is compassionate, loving, kind, just. These injustices are not a reflection of who God is. Our conversation continued very beautifully after that, and I think we all walked away with a deeper confidence that God is good. Despite the present circumstances and despite our confusion, our anger, our anxiety, God is good. And so this week, I want to invite each of you to take a deep breath and consider the call to action. Mm -hmm.